welcome to your content creation calendar. While that calendar gets delivered straight to your inbox at the email you gave me on the previous page, I'm gonna show you here how to use it most effectively, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Oh wait, I didn't introduce myself again. Leslie Lane Peabody, the ninja in high heels, and I help your small business grow more easily and more on autopilot. This video is part of a done for you system where you just have to follow the guidelines and your business will grow seemingly like magic. So today we're going over the content creation calendar. Watch and learn, you're gonna love this. Somebody had asked me for this the other day, so I dusted it off and I got it back ready for you. So here we go. All right, you should be able to see this content creation calendar. This happens to be for February 2017. What I'll do is every month I'll put one out there so that every month you get that email just a few days before the end of the month. So, of course, I just started this last night, so I didn't get the entire month of February on here. I just updated it again based on one of my customers' requests. So what's going to happen here is every month you're going to see that month there right so the first of february is on a wednesday you have the days of the week on the top and then the dates in the highlighted color i change colors up every month because it's fun all right and then every day you're going to get a link to some kind of day that you're supposed to do right so clean out your computer day i look at these calendars and i link if they're blue highlighted that means a link that you can click on let's click on this do you see how when i clicked let me go back here and do this. When I click the cell, this gets highlighted. So you can just highlight that. You're gonna get some more information, some more background information that you can use to help create your content, right? Cool, because I have the links right in there. And then I give you some advice and guidance here. So for clean out your computer day, talk, talk it, about cleaning up your computer give a tip on how people can clean up their computer now here are the important things right here these are which day of the week it is so my three two one ninja punch formula says that out of every six days that you have every seven days we're going to go seven days here this is actually based off of instagram so i based it off of six days because you've got six pictures when you did an instagram picture uh when you viewed instagram on your phone but it works everywhere i'm finding it works really great so on day one you do a value post so every monday i do a value post that could be a motivational quote it could be a tip it could be a recipe it could be a beauty tip it depends on what your business is but if you don't have a great idea for yourself go here and talk about cleaning out your computer everybody needs a tip about cleaning out their computer right so the first day is a value post you're giving some value then the second day is a lifestyle post. You are the Kardashians. People want to know, like, and trust you. How do you do that? You live your life. You live the part of your life you want people to know on social media. So you're gonna be Oprah, you're gonna be the Kardashians, you're gonna be whatever real TV type thing that you like, you are now that. You are your own TV channel. So make sure you give good value, make sure you are fun to be around. So Lifestyle Day is about being fun to be around or people getting to know you a little bit better. So this day, the 14th, which is also Valentine's Day, um, but everybody's doing that, right? So that's old and tired. So I went to National Organ Donors Day because the people that you market to might be single they might not have someone in their life so i wouldn't market big about my valentine i would market big about national organ donors day i could get out my driver's license and show that i'm an organ donor i could post a picture of a friend or a family member that has benefited from organ donation do not post a picture of someone who died that's the bummer right that there's a time and place for that but not when you're trying to promote people wanting to come visit you if you're always negative nelly they're not going to want to come visit you so make it positive make it uplifting make people want to come to you right very seldom should you be posting something a downer 
So the 15th is another value day. Every Wednesday is a value day. And on your value day, today, if you have nothing else to post about, it's Susan B. Anthony Day. It's honor of her birthday. So do a quote from her. Talk about how her life affected you, how your life might be different today, how you love what your life is today. Do something about Susan B. Anthony if you have nothing else to do about. Then the 16th is do a grouch a favor day. That is a fun day. So if you don't have a better idea, this is a lifestyle day again, right? So it's all about lifestyle. Have a picture of you out doing somebody a favor, buying somebody a coffee at Starbucks, finding, picking up something for somebody, somebody especially grouchy. I don't care if they're grouchy, frankly. I would probably avoid that, but it is National Grouch Day, so I thought that was good. But do something nice. Show that community side of you. Do you volunteer? Post a picture of your volunteer. Talk about your volunteering. Do something related to giving, right? And then talk about that and what that meant to you, how that helps you grow your business. Talk about it in some way, shape, or form. Then Fridays are value days. So Friday is National Caregiver Day. This is a value day, all right? So Talk about giving and increase your celebrity. We'll talk about that soon in another episode, but increase your celebrity brand by showing that you give to the community, by posting about the community. It's very, do you see the theme here a little bit this week? This week kind of has a theme, a giving theme going on here. So post a value theme. Then on Saturday, Saturdays have shown, at least to me, to be the best days for promotions. I get the most leads on Saturday, the most interactions on Saturday, because a lot of people have decompressed from their work week. So Saturdays are promotional days, and that means solve your customer's problem. Find out one problem that your customer has and solve that problem for them. So for instance, people don't know what to post. I'm solving a problem with my content creation day, right? So you're going to see this occasionally on Saturdays. I'm going to re-promote this same video, this same content creation calendar, because a lot of people can have value from this. So depending on what your product is that you're promoting, how can you help someone? How can you give to someone's life? and then ask for the sale. Not every day you're only asking for the sale today. Today is the only day where I wanna see maybe pictures of your product or something. I don't wanna see that every day because oh my God, you're like a late night TV commercial, right? You don't wanna be that person. So Saturdays, save it for Saturdays. You can change this up, make it your own. This is only for people still struggling to create their own calendar in their head. This gives you an idea of what to do. And then a lot of people take Sundays off, right? So take Sundays off, or I love to post a joke on Sundays, Sunday fun days. Sunday funnies is what I call it, because I remember as a kid sitting in my living room, actually laying on the floor in my living room while my dad was at the kitchen table, reading the paper, he'd read the news or the sports page and he'd hand me the comics. So that's why I like Sunday fun funnies. So do what you want, but that gives you a light hearted way to do Sunday. And then come Monday, you do it again. But guess what? This Monday, there's a different value, a different type of lifestyle, a different value, a different lifestyle, a different value, and then a different problem. So that is how you use the content creation calendar. It has been delivered to your inbox, hopefully by now. Go there and make sure that you check your spam folder. Check and make sure you look at your um, anywhere that it goes if I am not in your content calendar, if I am not in your contacts list. Please put me in the contacts list so you don't miss this calendar each and every month. It is gonna be a lifesaver when your head is just not working. So, Lesson Lane Peabody, the ninja in high heels, Mwah! I'm so happy to be helping you grow your business. And I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.